Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so did I have Laura Luther on the line, and she's owner and COO over at Elevate Events. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, Laura, so excited to learn more about Elevate Event today. And uh, just to get us kicked off, I'll start with our Mission Matters question. So, Laura, we at Mission Matters amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. So that's our mission here. Laura, what mission matters to you? What mission matters to me is creating memories that will enable people to want to create even more at our facility. So we establish family relationships with all of our clients. That's awesome. And so let's um, let, let's start off with uh, with the, with the business. So tell us a little bit more about Elevate Events, please. We are a venue, but we have a few different spaces. We have a main room a lounge area, and then we have five side rooms or what some people call meeting room spaces. And each room is able to create any kind of memory for someone with their ideas. We want them to come in and say, I'm envisioning this, and we're able to help them create that space how they want it. That's awesome. Um, So, going a little bit further into that, um, what makes Elevate Event uh, a little bit different as a space? Well, our whole family is involved. This is definitely a family and business. Um, My son is a music producer and a DJ. He's since eight. He's now 14. Um, And my 14-year-old daughter has been the sound and light production for our company. And then we, my husband helps with the um, conversion, and then my youngest daughter also helps with, like, crowd control and hostessing, and she's, so we all have a part in it, as well as our very close friends and family, and then also creating opportunities for our community. If someone is interested in stepping into the business, we welcome them with arms, and we ensure that everyone has a place in the facility or gets to try out different things. So we don't focus so much on titles. We focus more on community and us working together. And basically everyone has a part in most of the departments. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love showcasing a great family business. You got the whole family working, even the daughter's yeah. a bouncer. Hey, don't get too, too, uh, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Um, yeah. so what, um, what's been like your biggest challenge when getting people to, to work with Elevate Event up to this point? Um, I would say that, um, you know, we also will book for other venues as well because what, what I find is a challenge I also find is an opportunity. Um, we, you know, the other venues, there's there's a bunch in Austin area. There's tons of events. You know, that is the market. So advertising for a certain event or getting people to go to an event is, pro- is probably, I would say, the most challenging for any um, person that's holding an event. So, we, you know, we have an app that we promote for our clients. We also 
do, you know, pretty much the free marketing in order to help our clients for that. But also we take those other venues and we don't use them as, we don't call them competitors. I never have called them partners. And so, you know, I want to make sure that if someone comes to book with us, um, they're with us. They want to be with us. If they're questioning with us and someone else, I'm always telling them you need to be where you're comfortable. And so, you know, I would say, um, you know, the challenge is maybe other other partners. I, I, that's what I would call them. Um, maybe trying to negotiate on another level of financials um, on once after we've already had an agreement with someone, and that's what the industry calls um, like undercutting. So mm. that does happen. It just happens in the industry. So what I what I'm doing is using that as an opportunity and trying to partner even more so with these venues so that we can help each other and nobody has to undercut basically. So. Mm. And so how has, how have things changed um, due to COVID and like, and are there extra precautions or things like that? Cause I know the events are starting. Out. I know everybody wants to go to events now. That's the way I see it. Yes. yes. Um, it, you know, it's changed in a, in, in different ways. You know, I always believe now I understand why there's constructive, constructive, and then there's destructive, you know, and mm. it, you definitely have to look at it as a constructive situation. Um, we definitely 100% use food servers around food no matter what now. Mm-hmm. You know, where before there could have been a buffet and people were self-serving at certain times. And we don't do that anymore. And it's okay. You know, it actually is a little added cost, but, hey, safety is number one for us. It always has been. So that right there is our biggest, you know, our biggest cha- change, I guess you want to say. Mm-hmm. Um and then, yes, it's increased costs um, with that. And, of course, during COVID, our screening, you know, we had to add a couple staff and we increased screening. We created a whole screening process was actually pretty fabulous. And it was created by my daughter, you know. And so she created a QR code where we were able to track everyone into the building and they had to fill out information before they entered. And we did the you know, the temperature checks, then we had someone else that would ask the questions if the person didn't go on the QR code, which that, you know, today's world, not everyone can use that. Um, and so, you know, that has been a huge change as well. Like we keep someone at the door all the time and, you know, so that we can really monitor who's coming in and we still have the mask in the lounge area because we are in Travis County, which is Austin area. So as far as the main room, it's it's optional according to how many people we have and per family. So that's per the client. But, um, you know, we, we haven't had any issues with that. I, I have to say everyone's been great. I think that people are very responsive and they truly listen and we just really watch how we approach people, too, because we all know that, you know, my staff knows, you know, not everyone may be comfortable with someone without a mask, and we need to be respectful about that for them. So, No, that's great. Um, I, great to see that you're taking precautions and that um, and that also, you know, respectful and still, and still allowing people to create these memorable experiences is what you're, you know, what you're doing. I know, uh, especially during the, um, um, you know, you see people with different types of events that they would normally have in person and all the family would get together during the holidays and other things like that. And now you see, uh, you know, during COVID, you see a lot of that done online, which of course online is better than nothing. But to me, that still getting everybody together is still like, uh, it's still the best in my opinion. Oh, um, it's amazing. It's such a great feeling. And I always tell my staff, sometimes I have to be there to remind them, just take a step back and look what, what y'all created, what everyone created together, you know, and really embrace it. Because those are the moments that you may tend to just be working, 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 not really take a step back and just look at it and how people are laughing and just, you know, happy. And that right there just spreads happiness to even more people. And that's, you know, what we really have always wanted that has always been like our 
our mission for Elevate and to be, you know, different to where if they need to call to question something, they can. They're not going to get a recording. They just won't. So, you know. Oh, that's amazing. So, Laura, uh, first off, this has been great. I love bringing mission-based businesses and entrepreneurs on the line, and that's what you're really doing, your mission to, over there to uh, create these memorable experiences for, for your clients and who you mentioned are, are like family after time. So that's awesome. Um, so if somebody's listening to this, Laura, and they want to learn more and, and they want to um, learn more about the venue, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, you know, our Google pictures are great. Just elevate event on Google is fantastic. It's it's the fastest and simplest. We also have a website that as soon as you click on the website, which is elevateevent.com. Um, I'm sorry, elevate-event.com has a dash in between. And once you click on it on the top, you can download our app, and it's it's free. So if they download our app, they it literally, they get updates every now and then. We'll send, or like a little picture of a quote with someone being happy, something like that, one of our right. events. So it's it's great, you know, and then that way they don't ever have to look for us again. It's right there on their phone. Um, and then, of course, our Facebook is Elevate Dash Event as well. So. Fantastic. And I just went to the site, and I'm guessing that's your family right on the on the, on the the front cover, right? Family owned and ran, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love to see this. This is great. Um, yeah. Well, Laura, I just want to say again, thank you for coming on the show today. It's been a pleasure having you on, and great, and again, happy to bring this to my audience. Everybody go check out that website. So it's elevate-event.com. Um, and to everybody tuning in, if this is your first time listening, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We have many more mission-based businesses and entrepreneurs coming up for you and don't want you to miss a thing and laura thanks again for coming on the show it has been a pleasure thank you so much all right